What's up, everybody? It's Pykel with League of Items, and we've just gone through a full day of League of Legends. Um, a lot of matches, a lot of surprising results, a lot of not surprising results. Um, so let's just get started with that. Let me just get the results on my screen. So we can start off <clears throat> in the LPL. So last night, Ultra Prime beat Team World Elite, but like I said, World Elite picked up a game. They probably should have won that series. I think that overall they looked like um, they definitely looked like the better the better team for at least one and a half of the games. Uh, Weibo Gaming beat OMG, but like I said, Weibo Gaming makes you feel kind of afraid sometimes to pick them. OMG picked up a game there. And then Top Esports beat EDG. Um, I had them yesterday in the upset. Then we had T1, 2-0 Hanwha Life. Uh, that was pretty um, expected. And then KT Rolster against Fredit Brion. Fredit Brion beat KT 2-0. Fredit Brion's a team I will never understand. Um, so, you know, just don't don't take my advice when it comes to that team specifically. Um, then in the LEC, um, Fnatic beat Mad Lions. Mad Lions is looking sketchy for the playoffs. G2 beat BDS, um, overcoming their huge loss from the other day. Rogue beat XL, which hurts XL's chances of making the playoffs a little bit, but Mad Lions, if Mad Lions keeps losing, that'll just kind of give it to XL for free. Then we had Astralis beat SK Gaming, and Vitality beat Misfits. And Vitality was pretty convincing in their win over Misfits, which is not that surprising. Uh, my dog is stop it, stomping around right now. She's pretty pissed off. Um, then in the LCS, we had Team Liquid beat Dignitas. CLG beat TSM, which is pretty bad if you're a TSM fan. Uh, C9 beat 100 Thieves. We had that. Um, EG beat FlyQuest convincingly. Immortals beat FlyQuest convincingly. Uh, Arrow played instead of Wild Turtle. If I knew that yesterday, I would have definitely picked... Um, I would have put, like... I would have actually made that bet in real life. I didn't. Um, EG FlyQuest, Immortal FlyQuest. And then EG just slapped Golden Guardians. Golden Guardians picked Jin into a Felios, and we all know how I feel about Jin. Um, so let's take a look at the matches for tomorrow. So first up, we have FPX and Thunder Talk. FPX minus 667 favorite. Thunder Talk Gaming plus 420. Uh, blaze it. New against Shao Lao Hu. Uh, Shao Lao Hu is probably the better player and also is on the better team, which is a benefit. Clid against Chieftain. Uh, I think Beishuan played last game. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Clid is better than Chieftain. Clid has been better than Chieftain. Um, that's not going to change. Uh if the draft goes sideways, then yes, Chieftain can win. Um, Gori against Yukal. I think this is another spot where, when they were both in Korea, Gori was better than Yukal in my mind. Uh, he had a really good performance for uh, Nongshim throughout last year. LWX and Hong against Puff and Southwind. I think that's a pretty lopsided match. I'm not betting FPX, but that's definitely the sign that I the side that I prefer. Then we have BLG against JDG. BLG minus 180 favorite. JDG plus 136. <clears throat> BLG is definitely the public side. Um, I think Breathe is better than 360, 369. 369. Um, but 369 is good enough to win matchups against Breathe. Weiwei and Kanabi. Kanabi is a better player. Fofo and Yagao. Fofo is a better player. But Yagao is not a pushover. His team won a championship when he was maining Zoe. Um, if they get him... Like, Zoe's playable right now. I'm not sure why uh, they don't have, like, a high priority on it. And then we have Hope and Missing against Doggo and Crisp. Doggo and Crisp are probably the better side there. Um, but in this type of meta, as long as JDG is not there playing Jin, 
uh, we should feel pretty good that the draft is going to decide that matchup. Um, I'm going to be on the JDG side there. I don't think that they're this big of an underdog, um, and I believe in JDG long term. Then in the last match of the night, we have LNG against V5, Ale against Rich, Ale is better. Tarzan against Karsa, Tarzan is better. Do and B against Rookie, very close ma uh, matchup there. Light and Loom out against Fotic and PP God. Um, really just like a 50-50 in that spot. Um, I don't have a heavy lean either way. I'll be going with LNG because I think that LNG is just a better team overall than V5. Um, let's do that. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, so let's go to the LCK. DRX against Gen G. I'm on the Gen G side. DRX can definitely win one game, and I wouldn't be shocked if DRX had the upset. Uh, Gen G is just the better team overall. I think that they're. I think that they have the most talent in Korea. That doesn't mean that they're going to have the best year uh, in Korea. T1's playing out of their minds right now. Um, Gen G. So Doran against Kingen. You gotta slightly prefer Doran, I think. Peanut against Piosic. I probably prefer Piosic at this point, but Peanut is a very good player. Zika against Chovy. I like Zika a lot, but Chovy is better. Deft and Barrel against Ruler and Lahens. Um, that's the biggest discrepancy, I think, in this matchup. Uh, Ruler is considerably better than Deft at this point, I think. Um, if Gen G dr doesn't draft in te well in, in what in what I would consider an intelligent fashion they could theoretically be giving up jinx a lot to deft which would be a huge mistake that's really the best chance that drx has to win um so you might want to wait and live bet this like live bet the individual games if drx gets jinx um then we, the next matchup we have nongshim against sandbox so we have kana against dove kana is better dread against croco i don't really care BDD against Closer. BDD is better, but Closer is a pretty good player as well. And then we have Ghost and Effort against Envy and Kale. Um, Ghost and Effort are the better side there. Um, so I think we can feel pretty confident about that one. I don't have any LEC matches for tomorrow. But we do have some more matches in the LCS. So we have FlyQuest against Cloud9. FlyQuest has not looked as good today. Um, I don't think that we should make any kind of insane overreaction saying that they're horrible now. I never thought they were as good as their record. Um, you have to kind of prefer the C9 side here. So C9 against FlyQuest, minus 208, minus 150. I'm not betting on FlyQuest here. Um, but I will be making a video about Cloud9 either today or tomorrow. Uh, Evil Geniuses against Counter Logic Gaming. I'm definitely going to be on the EG side there. TSM against Team Liquid. TSM is really disappointing right now. Um, losing to CLG is bad. It's very bad. Um, I want to pick TSM here. I don't think I can do that. Uh, Immortals against Golden Guardians. If Arrow is playing, I'd be on the Immortal side. Um, I think that Arrow is a considerable upgrade over Wild Turtle. Um, in the rest of the spots, let's do that. Go lane by lane. So Immortals against Golden Guardians. We have Revenge against Licorice. That's matchup dependent. Xerxes against Pride Stalker. I prefer Xerxes a little bit, but Pride Stalker has been doing good. In, he's been doing a good job in the early game getting advantages because his team drafts around it and plays around it. Um, Power of Evil against a Blaze Olive. They're both about the same. Power of Evil is a little more consistent, more of a control mage player. Uh, you're more likely to get some kind of weird pick out of a Blaze Olive. Uh, and then Wild Turtle and Destiny against Lost and Ale. Um, I prefer Lost and Ollie in that spot, but if it's Arrow and Destiny, I'd prefer Arrow and Destiny. I just have big problems with, with Wild Turtle, betting money on Wild Turtle. So that comes down to who's starting at uh, 80 carry. Then in the last match of the day, we have 100 Thieves against Dignitas. 100 Thieves is the better team. We all know that. Um, 
someday against fake god you have to prefer someday closer against river that one's pretty close in my mind abadage against blue that's matchup dependent but it's it's matchup dependent but also abadage favored fbi and hookie against neo and biofrost uh dignitas is blue side i think that gives them a much better chance to win this game than they would otherwise i think plus 170 is pretty good let's see where is it 100 thieves against dig 125 yep i think you can take dig there um so if arrow plays we'd have two underdog spots i think immortals can beat golden guardians dignitas can beat 100 thieves Everything else is just basic uh, best of one stuff. Um, I don't think I really have much more to say. I want to talk about C9 and I want to talk about drafting in general and and like why this whole jinx thing is insane. So let's actually just let's do that, I guess, real quick. My dog keeps whining and is driving me insane. Very needy dog. It's a LaCroix. Because I'm fancy. I think it's the first time I've ever had a LaCroix. So don't judge me too hard, please. Dog, please stop. Thank you. She's not going to stop, by the way. I, I know she's not. Real cheese production. I love real cheese production. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so dig against Team Liquid. This was really stupid. I don't know why. I don't know why you're picking banning jinx on blue side just re just really dumb in my opinion um I, like i get why some people like playing ezreal into aphelios because you can uh eliminate his towers with ezreal cues and like if you're playing um with enchanters and you have a lot of buffs then yes you're getting good buff value um because ezreal has a lot of on hit um, and you can outrange the Ophelios. But guess what else is good against Ophelios? Jinx. I mean, it's just so... I, I don't know any other way to say it. Uh, then we have CLG against TSM. Guess what? CLG was blue side and got Jinx. Guess what CLG did? They made an upset. Then we had Cloud9 against 100 Thieves. This one was a little bit more surprising. I don't think that the blue team should be taking Ophelios over Jinx in most situations. But these are two very good teams. There was a chance that this game was going to go sideways, but uh, it didn't. Um, <laughs> so the red side jinx didn't actually win, which is pretty surprising. I think most of the time that's going to be a good thing for that team. Evil Genius is against FlyQuest. We had Aphelios against Jin. Jin's a horrible champion. Aphelios is a good champion. Danny's a good player. Johnson's not as good as Danny. Uh, it's so facto. Ipso facto? Uh... Evil Geniuses wins. Then we had Arrow against Jinx. So this is a spot where I don't think that you should be drafting this way at all. Um, but they kind of just got outplayed. Um, and that's it. The dog won't stop crying. So I'm going to stop the video now. Uh, I'm going to make a video about C9. Um, and you'll understand why when you watch it. So thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later.